YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, on today's video, I get to review this. It's the brand new MN Models MN78. Uh, I think it's based on a Jeep Cherokee, is it? Possibly. Uh, it's a 1 12th scale sort of crawler. Um, this has been very kindly sent to me for review from Banggood, so a massive big thumbs up uh, to them. Uh, I think in the UK it costs about 68 quid, and that which roughly is about $76 at today's current exchange rate, but you can never quite tell. Uh, there will be some links in the description below to where you can get one of these if you so desire. Um, anyway, I'm dying to get this box open because I really, I really am genuinely interested to see what this thing is like. Uh, we'll look, have a quick look at the box. It's Four wheel drive, 2.4 gig, um, should come with everything you need apart from the batteries for the transmitter in order to get things going. Anyway, enough waffle, I'm excited, let's get into it. Right then, in the box we get a little warranty card I think from MM Models. Uh, we get a little screwdriver with some spare screws. Uh, we've got some instructions here. Uh, we've got a load of accessories like a bumper that we've got to stick on and uh, some wheel arches etc. Uh, we've got a battery charger. Now this is the new three wire type because the I think they've uh, swapped all the batteries over to the still like a two wire battery but they've got a three, a three wire plug on them. We've got our transmitter. Now I'm not <laughs> too sure about this. It does feel a very plasticky and honestly a bit crap but I'll reserve judgment see what it's like. Uh, now we've actually got the truck itself. Now this thing came exceptionally well packaged and I'm going to just from first impressions, it, it's absolutely mint. Uh, I lo absolutely love the look of it. Uh, it did actually come with a great big tire wrap to hold what I believe. I think you can open the doors on this, but I think you can open the boot as well. Look at that. I know I haven't watched any review videos for these um, just because uh, I, I don't want to any uh, any biased views. I want to literally review it as I see it. But yeah, you can open the tailgate. Look at that. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and also I've noticed the batteries in the front, like most uh, MNs, but the, the bonnet's actually on these little catches here, like these push catches. So push down and the bonnet flips up. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got our standard uh, sort of three wire battery now. I think you can open these doors as well. Uh, oh yeah, you can look at that. Uh, so far, I'm absolutely loving this thing. Um, now it doesn't actually look as though it shares much with the previous platforms, you know, the uh, D99 and the MN45, etc. Uh, the chassis looks different. Uh, it's just like a completely different setup underneath. We've got a, a, the steering servo is actually mounted to the top of the axle. There's a very strange gearbox arrangement behind this plastic cover. Now then, I'm having a look. And it only it only looks like it's got a 130 motor in it. Um, so how good that is going to be, I don't know. But we've got the axles look the same. It's got very similar suspension. I mean, we'll I'll reverse, reverse reserve judgment on this thing. I'm going to put all the bits and pieces on. I'm going to charge the battery, and uh, we're going to take this thing out for a spin. We'll see what it's like. But if it if it goes anywhere near as good as it looks. I think we're MN are on to a winner with this thing. Right, the battery's not quite charged, but I wanted to check the lights first, uh, see what they're like. I've put all the accessories on, like the wing mirrors and the door handles, etc. Haven't put the ball bars on yet, I should wait till the end. Um, but on the controller, we have got a steering trim, uh, so this thing is fully proportional. Oh, we've also got indicators, front and rear, if I show you them. Which are pretty cool. Uh, we've also got a button to turn the headlights on and off. Uh, there, it says there we go. So we've got the uh, this roof-mounted fog lights so up here. We've got the main headlights, some running lights, and at the back uh, we've got our tail lights. Uh, this, I mean, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, like I say, we've got our indicators, etc. You can t toggle the lights on and off uh, using the uh, transmitter with that button there. 
Uh, we've also got a throttle dual rate. Uh, we'll try that out in a min. Um, but like I say, I mean, this, this thing looks absolutely epic. I really do hope it goes as well as it looks. What I'm going to do now, I think, I'm going to stick the battery back on charge to see if I can get this body off, because I want a closer look at the differences underneath uh, this thing to see uh, see what's we'll see what how much commonality we've got between the D ninety ninety nine etc and this thing. But so far, and really, this thing it looks absolutely epic. Now I've actually whipped the body off this thing, and it was dead easy. There's just four screws you undo, and everything comes off. Uh, we can all breathe a sigh of relief though, because in fact we have got a two sixty motor in there, not the one thought one thirty that I originally thought it was. So thank God for that. Um, now I've had a good look round this thing. And the only the only similarities I can see between this and its sort of D99 brethren is it might share a board, it definitely shares a motor can and it shares the axles, but that's about it. Everything else on this, uh, this new truck is unique to this truck. Uh, even the chassis rails and the suspension is completely different. Uh, because it's got the same, obviously, axles on, you'll be able to fit some wider diameter wheels and tyres. You can fit the ones off a D99 because these are quite small. Uh, but like I say, everything else I think is unique to this truck. Uh, what I might do now is uh, just take one of these covers off the axles to see whether, whether they've stuck plastic gears uh, inside, like the old MN45 and 40, I think. Uh, but uh, apart from that, everything else is brand new and unique to this vehicle. Also, it's worth a mention while I'm here, I'm loving this new gearbox arrangement where the output shaft sort of lies flat with the motor, or side by side with the motor, I should say, and uh, not underneath, because it does give us a load more ground clearance underneath, even though, because we've got these smaller diameter tyres on, we haven't really got a tremendous amount anyway, so, uh, but that, I really do like that, it's ever so neat that is, look at, uh, it doesn't poke out the bottom of the chassis anymore, okay, there we go, metal gears in the axles, so they haven't skimped there, uh, do you know what, I'm desperate to pull this uh, transmission out, so I think that's what I'm going to do next, I'm going to uh, pull this transmission out, and we're going to have a look inside, there's something else I've noticed on this, and I tell you what, this is attention to detail, so big thumbs up to MN for this, they've actually left two circular cutouts in this, uh, sort of bash plate so you can access the two screws for the drive shafts uh, so you don't have to take the whole assembly out. Right we'll have a little look inside the gearbox we've got a little metal pinion gear there on the end of the motor shaft all the other gears are plastic uh, what do you reckon how long before we get a metal upgrade gear set for the gearboxes on these things uh, another area of note is the fact we've got these little extension pieces here because the half shafts on the axle and the motor ends are the same as the rest of the MN range uh, they obviously need to be a bit longer so they've made up these little extension pieces here they look like little bits of Lego Technic don't they um, anyway uh, let's try and get it all back together and uh, hopefully uh, by the time we've done that the battery will be charged and we'll be able to take this thing out for a blast <laughs>
take them back inside now then before we get into the pros and cons of this thing just a couple of things i thought i'd mention uh the throttle jewel rate on the transmitter it does make a small difference but it's barely perceptible it really is it, it may as well not be there to be honest i don't know why they bothered uh, but it has got a throttle jewel rate but the difference between high and low uh, gears if you like is is virtually you can't tell basically um now also while i've got the transmitter in my hand this portion at the front does actually glow blue now you, again you can't see it during the day but, but it, it becomes apparent at night this thing flashes blue whenever you touch any of the controls uh, which is a bit weird anyway let's carry on pros and cons let's start off with some cons things i didn't like about this you should be under no illusions whatsoever this thing is no crawler it's basically a little trail truck uh, nothing more nothing less if you want something that's a little bit more capable off-road in the MN range, the D90, D99, MN45, etc. Uh, this thing is okay. Uh, it's just nowhere near as good off-road as the D99 is. Second thing I wasn't too sure about was it doesn't seem to have a great deal of power, even though I'm pretty sure it uses the same board and the same motor. Um, it was a little bit the throttle even if it's fully proportional the throttle's a little bit on and off uh, i think the modulation as you'd call it isn't very good on this so it's a little bit jerky when you're trying to control it which makes it i mean it isn't brilliant off-road uh but it's even less satisfying uh, because it is that does actually make it a little bit harder to control it now the last actual bad point i've got written down on my list is possibly one of the most important and it's the fact that because this thing is so radically different from every other mn uh, i haven't seen many parts for this available as yet and of course you're not going to be able to interchange d99 mn45 bits and pieces because it just won't fit because this is so different so at the moment uh, there isn't really much in the way of spares back up there probably will be soon i would imagine uh, but also accessories obviously none of the uh, d99 d90 accessories are going to fit this upgrades they're not going to fit unfortunately so unless so somebody starts pumping out spares and accessories for this uh, you're a bit stuffed if you break it right then let's have some things that i did actually like about this thing uh, it is a wonderful looking body i think you'll have to agree it's, it looks absolutely fantastic it's a re they've done a bang up job of making this thing look like a jeep cherokee and i absolutely love the fact that you can open all the doors you can open the tailgate and the best bit and i hope wpl are watching uh, and everybody else actually is these clips on the bonnet that allow you to gain access to the battery that is that is so simple and easy it's absolute genius so mn big thumbs up they've done a fantastic job uh, of the way this thing looks also thank goodness mn have decided not to link the lights to the throttle on this so not only can you turn the lights on and off but they don't blink on and off uh, when you're driving along when you're pulling the throttle so thank god mn at last have disconnected the, th <laughs> the link between the throttle and the light the battery on this is a decent battery life i was out there for at least 30 possibly 35 minutes didn't show any signs of slowing down so i think we're gonna have a, a good decent battery life on this i think that little 260 motor in there sort of sips power out the battery so you're going to get a decent amount of run time they do it like a three or uh, two or three uh, battery option on this uh, if you get the three battery option you'll be out all day with it while I was outside with it, nothing broke, nothing fell off. I tried to make it do some quite gnarly things, I must admit, uh, on those rocks. Uh, some of it it managed, some of it it wouldn't do it at all. Uh, but like I say, nothing broke, nothing fell off. So, big thumbs up to our men. It didn't break. Also, I absolutely love the attention to detail on this thing. I know I've mentioned the body, but it's even down to the fact that they've got uh, an axle-mounted steering servo now. They've got these two little cutouts underneath and the engine cover so you can gain access to the drive shafts. It's just, see, it seems to have been really well thought out and it seems a decent quality uh, model, basically. So, again, I'm really impressed with the level of detail and there's some genuine thought gone into this. So, again, big thumbs up to mn okay then conclusion time would i recommend mn models mn 78 to you guys well here's the thing if you're after the most capable mn uh, in this roughly this scale then the d99 or one of its variants is probably more up your street 
Uh, as a standalone little trail truck for light trail use, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Could do with a bit more power, yes. Could do with a bit more ground clearance, yes. But those are the sort of things you could probably do something about and upgrade it at some point. I was already thinking, I was looking at this and thinking, well, well, obviously the MN wheels, the D99 wheels will fit on this, but perhaps a, a set of WPL portal axles will fit. I mean, if you want a Jeep Cherokee, and this is a gen, I mean, it's like I said, the body is beautifully engineered. It really is. It's a good looking little truck, this is. And there's plenty of possibility for you to upgrade it at some point. I'd have no qualms about recommending this. I mean, if you think of it in terms of a reasonably capable uh, remote control model of a Jeep Cherokee, uh, you, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I mean, don't forget WPL have done this with the D12 and D42 with the sort of the little K truck and the taxi version. They're not particularly interested in RCs in their own right, but the interest lies in the personalization and the customization of the base vehicle not necessarily with the actual base vehicle itself and if you're looking at the MN78 and you're comparing it to the D99 I think you you're slightly missing the point once again a massive thank you to Banggood for supplying this MN for today's review uh, there will of course be some links in the description to where you can get one from uh, as ever on the channel if you found the video of some use and interest please give it a big thumbs up and if you're feeling that way inclined hit the that subscribe button for more similar future content once again guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you again very very soon